हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक कला नॉलेज आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल ऑफ यू इफ माय वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू गाइस देन प्लीज सपोर्ट अस सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल कमेंट इट शेयर लाइक इट थैंक यू ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑन बेसिक ट्रेवल शूटिंग इन एल एनवायरमेंट ओके so now you can see this is a uh, one my node one server and uh, i build this server in uh, our, uh, virtual box okay because i am going to set up some lab here so that's why i build here server but <coughs> sometime what we observing after building a server like after creating a server in a virtual box or uh, vmware you know we are assigning uh, you know we are uh, assigning dhcp ip means auto assign ip we are not giving a, a static ip okay so when we are assigning a dhcp ip so like after build a server uh, let me log into the server first then i will explain you okay so after building server you can see like you know i am able to log in and server is a uh, I can say server is up also, okay. But when I am typing here IP A command, you can see is uh, like here no IP is showing. It means there is no IP assigned for this server as of now. And this server is not in a network. If we if like I want to try access this server outside uh, this virtual box, I will not able to connect. means if i try to log in through the putty i will not able to connect because this server is not in a network it, there is no ip assigned okay so what could be region i am going to explain you that one if you assigning a static ip the, you know like then fine like uh, you going to manually you know uh, assign some ip and you going to configuration that network configuration file and then you able to see but some when you are uh, you know using a dhcp ip in a first time and if you not changing your uh, network configuration file then you know sometime you will not uh, get the ip so what you have to do in this condition okay so i'm going to show you here you have to edit your network configuration file so vi/etc sys config network hyphen a script then then you have to now you can see here then uh, you know these are the ethernet uh, file file uh, ethernet uh, file name so you can see as of now i assign the two uh, ethernet card here you can see uh, one is uh, en uh, enp0s3 and enp0s8 okay So forget about this one, like uh, second one as of now. So you think about like because I assign because I need to you know set up some lab, so that's why. So you, this is uh, my first Ethernet card, okay? Primarily I can say EN, uh, ENP zero S three. So I need to check what is the content inside the ENP zero three. So what I have to do here, I have to give this file name, if CFG, and then ENS. Zero, S three. Let me edit this file. So here you have to check few things when you are assigning a DHCP. Okay, so you have to check here type, and then uh, you can see boot which uh, static on DHCP. So I am assigning a DHCP. You can see which type of uh, that uh, IP. So DHCP IP here. and then like uh, these are the few basic things like uh, you have to check yes 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 if you remove this one also that's fine but uh, I, in my condition i am living here now it will uh, you know like not create any problem as of now because the basic uh, setup i'm going to do okay so which one you have to check here so first you have to check this one dhcp uh, which uh, types of ip you assign dhcp that's fine then you have to come down and then you have to check here the name you know so what is the name so mm, that ens uh, sorry enps uh, 0s3 that's fine this name is correct 
and then you have to check device that is same name you have to s both are the same so here also you can see uh, EN ENP 0 S3 here now you can see on boot this option is showing no you know so it means when we are booting like when you are rebooting a system like you know so that uh, it's uh, it's option is telling no need to assign any IP so that's why it's a uh, it, this server is not coming in a network so what I have to do here I have to edit this one and type yes and then you can save it okay now here you can do two things uh, you can restart your network or then you have to reboot your system so I'm in my condition I'm going to reboot this system so I will just uh, you know prefer like if any network activity I'm doing so like generally I'm rebooting a system so shut down hyphen RF now you can use reboot command also in it six also but I'm using generally this command so that's why I'm giving shut down hyphen RF now so now we have to wait for few minutes to like uh, come to server online so generally you know this video for like you know like uh, whoever uh, like you know in a newly in like uh, came in a Linux in, in a Linux world like I can say fresher you know so like they even installing the server on a, on a personal desktop and laptop so maybe they will face this issue so that's why I you know I'm explaining this troubleshooting okay now let me log into this server uh, through the root login fine you can see now I am able to log in let me type now IPA fine cool you can see now I am getting an IP here you know if I now CMD if I ping here now this IP ping 192.168.56.118 okay so now you can see this IP is not now pingable okay if I now log in putty through putty this server 192. what is the IP let me see 192.168 168.56.118 cool now you can see I'm getting a login prompt so let me log in this one fine so now you can see the server is in network so that's why I'm able to connect this server outside Oracle box virtual box through putty okay so this is a basic troubleshooting I can say so I hope you like this video so Please subscribe my channel, comment and share it. Thanks for your watching.